I'm going to be showing you my top five best coats for fall and winter season. Some of these go from really, really lightweight and like I would say fake fall and winter, maybe if you live on the west coast or somewhere really warm, to ultra warm, ultra puffy, ultra super minus 40 Canadian winter kind of vibe. So I think that there is something in here for everybody. There's definitely more than five coats here, but I'm just going to show you a few different options and try them on for you. All of these coats that I'm going to show you are really great items to build a foundation for your cool weather, cold weather wardrobe. If it gets really cold where you live, when you're bundled under layers and layers and layers, the only thing that people really see when you're walking in the street anyway is your jacket or coat. So I think that's where you can really show off your style. So I think a good coat or jacket that you feel great in will really kind of put your outfit together. It will really show off your style. We'll just build a really good foundation for your cool and cold winter wardrobe. So let's get into it. So the first coat that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe is a camel colored overcoat. I've got two options here for you. One that is a little bit more kind of for fall and like warmer sort of cold weather and then one for it that's a little bit more heavy duty more for when it's really really cold out. This one is the Stedman coat from Babaton from Aritzia. It's like a very menswear inspired sort of oversized overcoat. It's just a single breast with one button and this is meant to fit a little bit more oversized, a little bit more boxy and more menswear. You've seen this coat on me a million times either on my Instagram, I'll link that here, or in like my top 10 fall basics. This coat is totally my number one fall basic for any time. It's pretty warm, but it's also pretty lightweight. It's like a wool cashmere type of blend. This keeps me warm, I'd say mostly like when it's like 10 degrees, and then after that I need a little bit more of something heavy duty, but a camel coat just I think instantly makes an outfit look a little bit more interesting, a little bit more put together. It's a little bit more fun and I think just something a little bit more, a little bit different compared to just like a basic black coat. It just adds a little color, a little bit of more interest and I just love it. I have another coat here from Wilfred. It's a little bit more of like a nutmeg type of camel color but this is a little bit more heavy duty, a little bit more warm. So if it's quite cold out, I tend to reach for this one and it's a little bit more long line. So it kind of falls like mid calf past my knee. It has like a wrap around sort of detailing, but this coat I get so many compliments on and I just love a neutral kind of camel colored coat for winter time. It just adds again, a little bit it just adds something a little bit more than like a black jacket would. I love a black coat and it's definitely in here for my top coats, but a camel coat, you just can't go wrong. It's just classy, it's chic, and it's just something a little bit more off the grid than just your basic black jacket. And with any of these coats, I will link whatever is still available down below in the description box, as always. Anything that is not, I will do my best to find something similar for you, but anything you need to know will be linked down below. So the next thing that I think everybody needs in their coat collection is long black overcoat. This one is from Oaken Fort. I just picked it up a couple of days ago. If you saw in my latest Zara haul, I did try like a very like Chanel inspired long line coat, but I was basically looking for a coat that was really oversized, like almost very menswear, like kind of like your dad's jacket that you stole that you needed because you were cold. I wanted something that fit really oversized and long line, almost kind of matrix style, and I found that in this overcoat. So this is from Oaken Fort. It is a double-breasted long line overcoat. It's really, really warm, very, very heavy duty, and I just love the way it fits in terms of how oversized it is. So sometimes I really do love just like a classic black jacket. It goes with everything. You can just throw it on top of whatever you're wearing and the fact that it's a little bit oversized means that well for me it will layer a little bit better so in the winter time you'll have a lot of like chunky knits or you'll layer a thinner jacket underneath your overcoat. I always just think having like something that's a little bit oversized and a little bit longer 
Um, not only will it keep you warm, but you won't feel like a Michelin man and you won't feel trapped inside of the jacket that you're wearing because it's a little bit more loose fitting and a little bit roomier. And if you don't love something that is super long and oversized, just a black, basic black pea coat will work just fine. I think a black pea coat everybody needs just because it's a perfect coat to layer for anything that's a little bit more formal if you have a wedding or like a New Year's Eve party, a Christmas party, something for holiday. Throwing on a black overcoat just helps sort of keep everything together and helps you stay put together and warm. This one is more of a blazer style coat that I got from Aritzia a couple of years ago. It's from Wilfred and it fits basically like an oversized blazer, but this one hits like maybe just below the hip. So it's still a very flattering length, whatever length you prefer, but I think like a black Overcoat is definitely an essential for the winter time. I still think a camel coat does go with everything But sometimes you just want to go with basic black and you'll never go wrong with a basic black coat So if you don't like black and I'm calling this top five coats for fall and winter But clearly there is more than five here I'm just showing you a variety of options just to give you kind of an idea really there are no rules when it comes to Coats these are just the top five for me that I rotate through the most often in my wardrobe in the cold season so use this as a guide this is definitely not a rule and clearly I have a coat problem so five is enough but I definitely have more than that so take this with a grain of salt so I'm still counting this as one category I did say camel coat I did say a black coat but you can also go in between and get a gray coat I think a mid-length or a long line gray coat is perfect for the fall winter. It's not quite black, it's not quite camel, it's just something in between and gray is like a really good color that just goes with anything. I have two examples here for you. They're both from Aritzia. So this first one is the Wilfred Cocoon jacket. I've had this one for years and years and years so do know that this, if you choose to go with this coat, it is really high quality, it's really warm, it's really durable and it will last you forever. I think I've had this jacket for like five years now. It's a wool cashmere blend coat. It's long this definitely needs a dry cleaning so ignore kind of how dirty it is but you can see it is well loved it kind of falls just above the knee maybe like mid it's a mid-length coat this coat looks gorgeous with everything I get so many compliments when I wear this jacket so just to show you that it's not always black and white I guess there is I can't believe I'm saying this there's shades of gray when it comes to coats for fall and winter and like the top coats that I would go for but a mid length is like a really nice classy length if you don't really want to go too too long but you want something and you don't want to go too short either you want something that sort of covers your butt and keeps you warm as you're kind of walking through the streets I think a mid length coat is really really nice and I really do love the color gray so whatever your style is if you tend to be more monochrome then black or gray or even a cream color would be great or if you tend to love warm neutrals, then that's when I would go for like a camel color. Or you could do it all like I did. And then the other gray jacket I have, so I actually have two versions of the Babaton Stedman coat. I got this one a couple of years ago when the coat first came out. It's in like a heather warm gray kind of color and I just like this one when I want to feel a little bit more monochrome, gray on gray type of layering. Again, this one is not as warm, so I wouldn't really wear it too much in the winter time, although it does layer really well. But I do love like a menswear sort of style jacket, so I think that's kind of where you want to look for is in the shape. So I really like a menswear style. It's a little bit more boxy, a little bit more oversized. It layers really well, but it still looks really, really classy and classic. And I love the lighter gray shade, especially for the winter time when everything is like a shade of gray and everything is covered in snow. I just love like a gray colored jacket for that season. So the next coat I think everybody needs in their fall and winter collection is a patterned coat. So for me, that could either be a checked coat. This one I am obsessed with. It's a really long, oversized, checked coat that I got from Stradivarius in London last year. Take me back to London, oh my god. Stradivarius, I would compare it to something like, kind of compare it to like H&M or Zara here in Canada. I think Stradivarius is only in Europe, but you can get this type of coat anywhere. A plaid overcoat just adds a little bit more interest. It's been on trend for the past couple of seasons, but I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. I think it just adds a little bit of something extra, maybe a little bit of more menswear inspired into the outfit. If you are kind of going to and from and it's colder out, you might be wearing a plaid blazer, but nobody's gonna see it. So you could throw over a checked overcoat 
and you're still kind of showing off that style and that pattern. I actually sized up to a size medium, so this one is actually quite oversized on me, and you did see it in my top five fall outfits video that I will link up here if you want to check that out and see it in action but I love this coat it's super long and oversized and that's just the fit I tend towards definitely if you're not into that then definitely go for something that fits you a little bit more streamlined but for me I tend to go for like an oversized menswear inspired type of fit so do what works for you but I think the key is the checked pattern it's definitely classic elegant and just adds a little bit of something extra to the outfit that might be missing and so if you're not into I can't roll up these sleeves they're like very belled out I'm getting hot though I don't know what to do here Feeling hot, hot, hot. so if you're not into checks or you want something other than checks then you can definitely go with other patterns with your overcoat i got this one from frank and oak a couple of seasons ago this one is a herringbone pattern every time i pick up a herringbone pattern i want to call it houndstooth and i probably will accidentally call it houndstooth at some point in here but this is herringbone this just adds a little bit of something extra makes it a little bit more i don't know kind of grandpa's jacket it just adds a little bit of interest and something extra to the coat that i think just makes it a little bit more classic a little bit more elevated again i got this one from frank and oak uh, last year it's a double breasted mid-length type of coat so this does again fit a little bit more oversized this is in a size small and it's meant to fit a little bit more menswear this is really heavy duty it keeps you super warm I love the herringbone pattern it adds just a little bit of something extra that I think like a basic might be missing and just spices it up a little bit sometimes, you know? Okay, so moving down the line, I'm getting into a little bit more of a trendier zone. The one trend that I have been seeing over and over and over again for the past couple of years is the teddy coat. The one that I'm kind of visualizing is almost like a bomber style teddy coat. I don't have anything like that, um, but I do have something similar sort of in that. I would call this teddy, I don't know what you would call it, but to me it's a little bit teddy inspired and it's kind of a hybrid between between the long basic black overcoat and it kind of sprinkles in that trendier teddy type of material so that's how I would want to sort of approach a trendier item for the season if you can find something that mixes together a classic style with a trendy material or pattern then I think that's the way to kind of make it last a little bit longer but this is my take on the teddy coat so this is a oversized i got this in an extra large from urban outfitters actually on sale last year but it's an oversized long line teddy jacket so you can see the material here is that like really textured teddy sort of carpety like material i really do like the teddy trend it's super cozy it's super cute and just really really fun but i don't know how ready i am to fully dive in to get like the bomber jacket so i thought that sprinkling it in with like something that i'm more likely to wear for seasons to come basically in an overcoat like this is how i would approach that sort of trend. If you want to add a little bit of color, a little bit a little bit of something more fun, then you can definitely do that with your coat. I'm putting this in the teddy category too just because you can see the material is again that kind of textured fuzzy sort of material. This is a coat from Monk and Lou. It's from a store called Plenty in Vancouver. I will link that down below. They are having their Black Friday sale starting on November 19th, so you can definitely check it out if you're in Canada. I don't know if they ship internationally. I will have that information for you down below, but they have a lot of really cute stuff and a lot of brands kind of local to their store made in Vancouver, so it's definitely something to check out. They sent me this jacket from Monk and Lou, and it's this like blush sort of teddy kind of inspired teddy material pea coat but this is kind of like a mesh I would say of all of these styles together which is why I threw it in because it's got that teddy material that is very trendy so I could include it in that but it's something that's a little bit more colorful and then it also has that classic shape that I really really like so it's just like a really nice classic pea coat and if you don't like any of these sort of neutral monochromatic colors then go for something in a color that you really love if it's pink blue green yellow neon like who cares go with what you like and show your personality off that way because all of your other stuff is just going to be buried under your jacket so your jacket is where you can shine so just keep that in mind you guys you know there are no rules go with what you like and 
so why are we watching this anyway? Okay, you know what? I call this my top five fall coats, but I think I'm gonna have to rename it to my top six because there are, I really needed to, being a Canadian, being from Toronto, where our winters are friggin' freezing and the air hurts your face and you have to like hide under a ski mask and you walk outside like this all the time because it's freaking freezing out. Um, I needed to add in, I would call it a realistic cold weather jacket and that is the puffer coat. I have two options here. This one is actually my boyfriend's, but the idea is there. So it is just a bomber style puffer jacket that is down filled. It's meant to keep you warm. Puffer jackets are everywhere this season. Aritzia has a really cool one called the Super Puff. Kendall Jenner wore it. I'll link it down below. But the idea is I'm liking this like super, it's like very athleisure inspired, basically like Michelin man style coat, but you are warm as hell when you're in these type of jackets. I remember having a puffer coat in high school and I absolutely hated it because I always felt like I was just like walking around like this, like life with Louie. Son, I, I said you can put your hands down. They are down, sir. Where I couldn't put my arms down because the jacket was so fat and warm, but fat and puffy, but now it's a trend, now it's a thing, so. It's having a moment and I'm, I'm loving it, so fine. But the puffer coat is really athletic inspired. It's a perfect everyday kind of jacket. You know, if you're commuting to work, to and from, you have to walk outside in the snow and the freezing cold. It is probably the most practical thing that will keep you warm. This gigantic one from Columbia that I got in high school that I'm still wearing and I feel like a rolled up hot dog in it when I'm wearing it. What do, you, what do you call those, like pigs in a blanket? I totally feel like that when I'm wearing this, but I don't care, I am warm as hell and that's what matters. So I am glad that this sort of puffer style jacket is back in style. I don't have any of the cool ones from Maritzia. This one is from Columbia and it's like many, many years old, but the idea is there and it's back in style. So I'm including it in my top five jackets to have for fall and winter. And I wanted to rename this top six because I do have like a bonus jacket that you've definitely seen before, but this is still my number one jacket for any time of year. And that is the leather jacket. You guys have seen this jacket a few times. You saw it in my fall haul video. You saw it in my top 10 fall basics. I will link all those videos down below if you're interested in binge watching. Come on, you know you want to. But a leather jacket, I feel like it's time to shine is definitely in the cooler weather. So fall, winter, spring, it looks good any time of year, it would layer really well under any of this. If you wanna add a little bit more cool, more edge to an outfit, definitely throw on a leather jacket. They have a lot of winter inspired leather jackets that have like the shearling or fur around it if you wanna go a little bit warmer. I know Zara has that. So you can definitely incorporate a leather jacket into your cooler weather outfits and it's definitely just an essential for me. I just love a leather jacket. You know why, you've seen it on me a million times so I had to include it in this video. So that's it for my top five, maybe top six fall and winter jacket video, you guys. Let me know down below what your favorite jacket is for the fall and winter season. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I will link it here. It's at Style Apotheca. That's where you will see my daily outfit photos. And if you guys wanna chat and hang out, that's definitely where I talk to you guys the most, so make sure to at me on there. Leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.